Hello, everyone, and welcome in to the three-digit World Cup Winners Bracket Finals. It is time for our matchup of the weekend between Hong Kong and Indonesia. Seed 12 Hong Kong out of the qualifiers, if I'm not mistaken, and Seed 7 out of qualifiers for Indonesia. An unlikely matchup, uh, given how the tournament started off, but one that now is presenting itself as the winner's finals. Hong Kong taking down France 6-1 to one in super dominant fashion last weekend. And South Korea taking being taken down by Indonesia in the same scoreline 6-1. to one. Uh, Earlier on in the tournament, of course, uh, Hong Kong taking down Japan in a tiebreaker. Indonesia taking down Germany in a tiebreaker. Uh, Hong Kong taking down the United Kingdom and Indonesia taking down Russia in the first round of the tournament. It's been an interesting bracket, to say the least, between these two teams. And I am excited to see what they bring us in the winner's finals. Both these teams guaranteed top three, fighting for a guaranteed spot in top two and for winner's bracket advantage in the grand finals during this match. My name is, of course, Tokyo. Be taking us through, uh, at this point, the bands and picks for both of these teams. You already have the uh, bands out for both of these teams, at least their first bands. Hard Rock 2 being banned out by Indonesia, Nomad 5 being banned out by Hong Kong. Last weekend, the Double Time 2 and Double Time 4 picks were both very, very finger control focused, and I think that kind of skews some of the statistics that you've got uh, from last weekend, where Hong Kong actually had some of the best scores of the weekend on both Double Time 2 and Double Time 4. 
Um, I do expect that to carry over into this week's DT4, but I think the Nomad 5 ban by Hong Kong is a pretty solid one given the focus that Indonesia has had on picking into tapping focused maps and winning almost all of them. Uh, last weekend, they, I believe, the only map they lost to South Korea was Nomad 2, uh, but it was only by about 130,000 score. They were able to win Nomad 5 against South Korea. They were able to win Nomad 4 as well. Uh, able to win a couple of the other maps in the pool, including DT2 and DT3 against South Korea. So very heavy focus on the speed and tapping from Indonesia. Hong Kong, meanwhile, had some very dominant performances on, of course, DT2, DT4, as we already spoke about. Um, we kind of expect to carry into DT4 this weekend. Uh, but also very, very strong showings on maps like Hidden 2, which kind of expect to the band out a little bit here. Hong Kong in general, very, very strong at a lot of the more gimmick focused sorts of maps. Number two on Nomad 3 last weekend. Um, number two on Hidden 2, of course. And then also number one on DT4, number two on Fremod 1 last weekend for Hong Kong. So you're looking at uh, a team that really does have kind of a wide variety of maps to pick from. Uh, of course, that says nothing about their mechanical prowess, which if you know anything about some of the members on this team, you will know that they have basically in spades. And we do see that DT4 ban come out from Indonesia, not surprising uh, really at all to see that map get banned out again, given their scores on DT2, DT4 last weekend. Talk about the rosters here just for a moment. I think the biggest thing that Hong Kong has going for them is the duo of Dragnet 3 and MCY4. Those two players have been topping the individual performance charts basically every weekend for Hong Kong, and we expect them to continue to scale well into the late stage. They're joined by F2X, Kibiki, Nazar, also known as Denier Nazar or CLP, and RLSC as the rest of the team. That team's going to ban out Double Time 3 and first pick Hard Rock 3 here for the start of the match. And I think that's a pretty solid first pick for them. A very, very awkward aim-focused CS 6.5 Hard Rock pick that they are uh, very likely going to have a pretty good time with for the side of Hong Kong. Talk about the roster from Indonesia. Have to mention some of the more well-known players on this team. Puma, Krez, Dito, I think, and Rexies, the four very well-known members of this team. However, that noob guy and Delon also with uh, some very good performances throughout the weekend. In fact, that noob guy putting up the best single individual performance last weekend. Uh, Rexies and Puma not too far behind. So there is actually, I think, some expectations on a lot of the Indonesia roster to be able to be flexible with their lineups. Whereas for Hong Kong, you're really looking for Dragbit 3 and MCY4 to go in on as many maps as possible and rush as many maps as possible. Um, this is kind of their formula. They've had Dragbit 3 and MCY4 go in on basically every map they can possibly put them in on. And it has been working. They have been tearing through the bracket so far all the way to winner's finals. To talk about the map for a little bit, Rajin uh, a map that I think a lot of people will know, at least in terms of the song, from the classic Angel Honey set of this same song. However, that set is sort of size 3, I believe, and AR8. Uh, definitely not the same type of set as you see here. A lot of the same types of flow aimy awkward jumps, but far, far lower spacing than in this map. And none of the 1-6 bursts that you see in this map, which make it that much trickier to keep your cursor control well put together in this map. 
第一巻八百十六ページ Both rosters locked in now. Dragbit 3, MCY4, and Nazar in for Hong Kong on this map. Fuma, that noob guy, and Dito in for Indonesia. Getting into our first map of the match. Dragbit 3 is going to miss the very first note of the map, but I don't think it's going to matter all that much. That noob guy going to trade the break alongside Dito and Nazar. Quite a lot of early breaks on this pick. No further breaks in this first difficult section after the intro here. Largely similar combos. You're looking at accuracy lead on the side of Hong Kong right now, giving them a lot of the score. Fuma on the full combo, but 95% accuracy. That noob guy dropping that miss is going to bring some combo lead onto the side of Hong Kong as well. As now it is only Fuma and Dito to stand against Nizar, MCY4, and Dragbit3. Nazar and Fuma trade misses, but again, that noob guy finding another break, and now it is only Dito on the side of Indonesia. Looking better and better for Hong Kong on this first pick as Dragbit 3 and MCY4 continue to do their thing on these awkward aim hard rock picks. And just to note that this team did not even play a single hard rock pick last weekend for Hong Kong. They're just very good at it anyway, uh, this type of map. Uh, certainly something that MCY4 and Dragbit3 can perform very well on, and uh, Dragbit3 just showing off at this point, trying to clutch out the full combo on this pick, or rather the reverse choke as he missed the very first note of the map. Not going to be able to do so either, uh, but more than enough score lead to guarantee the point for Hong Kong. Almost 600,000 points in the lead by the end of it. 900k and 800k coming out of Dragbit3 and MCY4. Overall, solid performance uh, from Fuma as well, who was able to hold on very long into the map, over 700k from him. But again, on the first pick from Hong Kong, you expect them to come out on top. You expect them to be very comfortable on it, and that is exactly the case for these members. And paying attention to the bands at all, you'll know that Indonesia is probably trying to pick double time three or similar during this round of picks. Is the or double time two, excuse me. Round of picks. Um, that is certainly a map that is double tappable, and I think that is the reason why Hong Kong has left it up, is because it is very, very easy to double tap this map. Despite the fact that Indonesia on paper has the advantage in speed, they may choose to go for something else, and they are going to go for Hidden 3 instead. You see Krez in the lobby for this one. Uh, that definitely does uh, bode pretty well for Indonesia's chances on a low appropriate reading pick like this. However, uh, they still have to contend with Dragbit 3 on low pro trait, who is uh, well known for being one of the better low pro trait reading players in the tournament scene right now, uh, up there with the likes of the Dew. Uh, during Nick's Winter Cup, he went easy on multiple free mod picks and was able to clutch out wins on them just through being able to play easy on those picks. In fact, having multiple of them banned out against him uh, for fear of him breaking out the easy mod against his opponent. We are going to see Dragbit 3 and MCY4 stay in for this one. No surprises there. Both of them very, very solid on hidden. Uh, the places where Indonesia is going to be taking them out of the lobby is most likely uh, on speed rather than on something like the hidden. However, oh, Fuma, Krez, and Dito, uh, kind of the core three for this roster from Indonesia. If you were to pick out three players that you want to see from Indonesia on quite a lot of maps, I think it would be these three, maybe Rex 
Pixies to sub in for one of them on quite a few of the other picks, right? Um, so you're looking at a very, very strong in the roster on this map in particular. Hibiki joining in with MCY4 and Dragnet 3. No surprises there. Uh, Hibiki also a very good reading player for Hong Kong. Of course, after talking about Dragbit 3 and how good he is at low portrait rating, he is the first one to drop a break in this map, followed shortly afterwards by DBK. This type of patterning is a lot of what you see in this map, however, as Suma drops again on one of the awkward aimed jumps in this map. A lot of relatively awkward stuff, uh, low approach rate and wide angle jumps are notoriously tricky to hit well. You're going to see a lot of that all throughout this map, in addition to a lot uh, of uh, streams and flow aim in this pick. As, uh, yeah, everyone breaks on the flow aim jump. Everyone besides MCY4 breaking during that section of the map right before the first PI time. MCY4 now the only full combo left intact for either team. And MCY4 still intact now, still with a full combo halfway through after that first PI time. Good recovery for a lot of the players on either side. Fuma and Dragnet 3 trading misses now. But as long as MCY4 holds this full combo, the score is going to stay on the side of Hong Kong. Now the caveat to that is that Hibiki has had much more breaks than either Krez or Tito. Krez and Tito also on higher accuracy than Hibiki. So any misses from MCY4 really do spell disaster for Hong Kong at the moment with uh, the full team score from Indonesia being just that much better than uh, the scores coming out of Hong Kong. It's really the MCY4 carry show at the moment. So the one third section coming up. No real high spacing to speak of in this section. Players, as long as they are not caught off guard by anything, should be able to go to the start of each one-third section and be relatively fine during the section. There we go. Dito actually hits that stream. That's going to be the deciding factor. Dito hitting the stream brings the score over to Indonesia. Of course, chain misses from basically everybody else on that long circle stream. The high spacing there, really, really tricky to deal with on AR8 hidden. But Dito able to accomplish it and able to keep the score on the side of Indonesia for their first pick. MCY4 still top scoring the lobby, but unfortunately not able to carry hard enough for Hong Kong. Ito, only 14,000 score behind him after hitting the long circle stream three quarters of the way into the map. And with 500k and 400k from Krez and Fuma to back him up, definitely the higher team score for Indonesia. Overall solid pick for them. And something that should give them a little bit more confidence going into picks like Hidden 1 or Hidden 2. However, with just how good Hong Kong can be at some of those other Hidden picks, it should still be a little hesitant about them. Maybe going into stuff like No Mod 6 and 3 Mod 3 instead. Might be a slightly better uh, shout for Indonesia after that Hidden 3 first pick. No Mod 1 now the pick for Hong Kong. Thank you 
is a pretty solid pick for Hong Kong. Um, Dragbit 3, M2I4, again, are going to be in for this map. Uh, both of them very, very solid on high star rating aim. Uh, the two highest rated players on the side of Hong Kong. The two highest ranked players on their side. Indonesia, notably not having anybody who's really well known for aim farm, as far as I know. Uh, Dylan and that new guy coming in, uh, I think because of this, actually. See how well the lineup from Indonesia stacks up to the aim gamers from Hong Kong. And not a lot to talk about with this map. It's a Skyflame Nomad 1. Um, the jumps are pretty comfortable. It's, uh, yeah, people, you should know what Nomad 1 is at this point. It is just aim consistency, and that is it. There's nothing else to talk about with it. It is about three minutes of 200 BPM jumps. There's not too many streams in this map as well, which is nice to see at this high of a star rating. Uh, very, very hard to find maps like this that don't have ridiculous space stream diff spikes in them. A lot of breaks right at the start of the map. Delon the first to break, followed up by Nezar and Dragbit 3. Nezar and Dragbit 3 missing on the streams at the end of the intro section rather than the jumps, however. Nobody dropping during the first PI, though. Everybody looking at pretty solid during that part of the map. Two full combos to one of the moment in favor of Indonesia. MCY4, the only full combo for Hong Kong on their pick. But a supporting combo for Delon in comparison to Dragon 3 or Nazar as well. Uh, as Delon has not dropped since the initial break on the jump to the start of the map. Almost dropping there. It does find a slider break right after the... Moment of discomfort on the wide horizontal jump leading into the second PI sign for Delon. That does pretty well put the combo in favor of Hong Kong. Now the recovery from Dragon 3 and Nazar has been there on this map. Nazar's slider breaking at the end of the stream, though, uh, keeps the combo lead just barely on the side of Indonesia by about 200 collective combo here. Make that about 1,000 collective combo as Dragon 3 drops down. Uh, leaving Dito's full combo unmatched. That new guy matching the FC from MCY4 as well. Oh, I'm finding another miss during the spike section here. Everybody else hitting the dip spike, though. That new guy finally missing the ending alongside Nazar. It is Dito and MCY4 to still hold on to the full combos right now. About 200,000 score in the favor of Indonesia, however. If Dito does miss going into the ending right now, there's the chance for MCY4 to carry this for Hong Kong. All Dito needs to do is hold on just a bit longer, and as soon as he crests 750k about right now, I think this map is just over. It is still 200k, and there is not even that much potential score left in the map for MCY4 to accumulate, regardless of whether Dito would have broken or not. It's just not gonna happen as now 200k plus the score lead continuing to build for Indonesia. As Dito finishes it out with the full combo to match MCY4's FC from Hong Kong and the supporting scores from that noob guy and Delon, that noob guy in particular almost 700k on that map. Really, really solid performance from actually the lowest ranked player in the lobby, ranked 900 for that noob guy, but putting up the second best score on the side of Indonesia. Very, very solid stuff from him.
We already have a breakpoint in this match. Hong Kong, not the pick they were looking for with Nomad 1. It actually seems like it would have been a fairly solid pick for them. But unfortunately, Indonesia with some aces up their sleeves there. Dino and that new guy in particular just going off during that map. Coming prepared to this matchup for sure. As they uh, are clearly warmed up on the aim for Hong Kong's picks here. And it is something that Hong Kong is very good at. They have very, very solid aim consistency players. Uh, but unfortunately, it seems like Dragbit 3 may be a little bit off on that map. Um, as we've seen him in other tournaments just go off on even 8 star Nomad 1. So, uh, Nomad 1, 7.5, 7.4 stars. Uh, really, is not the limit of his skill cap whatsoever. Uh, certainly could have performed better on a different run or a different day, but not that big this time. He's uh, able to capitalize on a slightly poor performance there. They are going to go with Hidden 1. We were talking about Amanita as a potential pickup after L50 went the way it did. Hidden 3 going very well for Indonesia, and them saying, you know what, I think we're pretty confident on our Hidden today. We'll go with Hidden 1 and keep the two star players from Hong Kong in the lobby instead of trying to force them out. Bringing Krez back in, of course, for Indonesia. And I'm expecting Fuma to sub back into the lobby at this point as well. And there we go, we are gonna get the same lineup for Indonesia as on Hidden 3. These three players, man, very, very solid hidden players overall for Indonesia. Um, some of the better hidden players in open rank tournaments in general. Krez in particular, very, very well known for uh, being disgustingly good on any hidden one type map. This one a little bit different from your standard hidden one, however. 200 BPM burst and stream low aim attached to them is more so the name of the game here than the awkward aim, which does make itself known makes itself very present in this map, but um, is not as much of the main focus as it usually would be. I think sharing the limelight quite a bit with the streams and flow aim in this pick. early misses for Hibiki Key breaking once near the start of the map and then again on that wiggle stream with the corner 180 degree turn there on the corner stream catching Hibiki Key off everybody else holding on to the full combo at the moment combo is now going into the first PI time right after this lower second. MC by 4 actually dropping as well now with 3 FCs still on the side of Indonesia compared to only drag 3 now for Hong Kong. Maybe get trade misses at the start of this PI time. Puma also dropping now. And suddenly the massive combo advantage that Indonesia had is completely wiped off the face of the earth by this PI time. As Dragbit 3, now the only full combo left standing in the lobby. All members of Indonesia resetting. And no resets aside from Hibiki's initial reset at the start of the PI time for Hong Kong. All of them on pretty big combo at this point. 
and this pick is looking completely flipped around for Indonesia. This is the danger of picking hidden into a team like Hong Kong who have members who are still very, very proficient on the mod and can pop off on it when it is needed from them. Drag the three right now, doing the work for Hong Kong of keeping the score close and on their side. He does finally drop the combo here. M2I4 now the only combo left standing for Hong Kong once again as Hibiki really having a bit of trouble with this pick overall. Krez chain missing alongside Hibiki during this section of the map. If anybody hits this div spike section, they are actually just going god mode right now. Why are two people hitting it from Indonesia right now? What? Okay, there we go. There we are. Everybody drops, but the score lead is actually on the side of Indonesia. Just barely two of their members holding out slightly longer than MTY4 was able to. And that might actually make the difference here at the end of the map. The score swapping back over to Indonesia due to the earlier breaks from Dragon 3 and MCY4 on that last diff spike section. 12k for Indonesia, but they managed to clutch it out at the very end. And you can see just how close it was. No one on Indonesia with a higher score than MCY4. And Dragbit 3 up at 670k as well. But unfortunately, uh, Hibiki just having too much trouble on the map for Hong Kong to be able to win that pick. And the chain misses at the end. 20 misses for Dragbit 3 at the end of that map. 12 misses for MCY4. Max miscount on Indonesia is 13 on Dito and Krez. Fuma 3 missing that map. And keeping the combo together as long as he did on the ending section. Really clutching it out for Indonesia at the very end of that pick. And I remember when I was talking about the bracket earlier that most of these teams had to get here, right? Indonesia beating Germany in quarterfinals and beating South Korea 6-1 last weekend. Right? This is a very good team from Indonesia. In fact, the higher seeded team out of qualifiers compared to Hong Kong as well. Uh, Hong Kong is the 12th seed out of qualifiers and Indonesia the 7th seed out of qualifiers. So technically, uh, this is the uh, higher seeded team winning right now for Indonesia. Despite the fact that Hong Kong has beaten the first seed France in 6-1 fashion. So, so both of these teams with the strengths to pull wins out against each other and pull breakpoints out against each other. It is going to be no mod 4 now for Hong Kong, and I think this is the type of pick that we really want to see from them. Dragbit 3, M2, I4, known for being good at these types of really tricky tech maps. This one, 200 BPM, but not as streamy as a lot of other 200 BPM plus tech maps tend to be these days. Uh, this one's still pretty heavy on the slider aim. And they are going to bring in RLSC for this pick. Uh, this is a scary roster on tech maps from Hong Kong right here. RLSC, if you are a leaderboard farmer for Nomad maps, you know this guy and you know just how good he can be. Uh, ridiculous full combo scores for close to FC scores on maps where no one else comes even close. Accuracy be damned, he still manages to pull together some of the craziest scores that you've seen on ridiculous Nomad tech maps. And that should be a big boon for Hong Kong on this type of map. Indonesia putting in Dito Krez and that new guy for this pick. To the pocket members for Indonesia that they are going to be putting in for this one. That new guy with a surprisingly strong performance both in the semifinals now and in the finals as well. I think a lot of people would have expected uh, both that noob guy and DeLon to take a backseat during a lot of the later stages, but it's kind of been the opposite. That noob guy uh, performing the best out of anybody on Indonesia last weekend, according to the individual rankings, and now in for uh, multiple maps already in this best of 13. Guy and RLSC both with early slider breaks. Krez matching with a couple misses of his own. Dito also having missed now right at the start of the first drop. MDY4, that's a Bancho miss. Did not actually miss there. 
That's a real miss now. Okay, Dragnet 3, the only full combo left up in the lobby at this point. Longer hold time for MCY4 compared to anybody, anybody from Indonesia, however. Also giving a pretty big score lead over to Hong Kong at the moment. However, a full reset from Hong Kong. ROC and Dragnet 3 both resetting there. Krez, the only one to trade the miss from Indonesia, gives Dio and that new guy a pretty big combo lead over the rest of Hong, Hong Kong. However, that new guy also Banjo missing. I love Banjo. Anybody else love Banjo here? My favorite. Slider Stream claims three, however. Dito, Krez, and Dragnet 3 all dropping on the Slider Stream. As that noob guy now, the only one with combo on the side of Indonesia, up against both MCY4 and RLSC, who made it through that slider stream. Light combo advantage for Hong Kong at the moment, but extremely close between the two teams. Press finding another slider break is actually going to give the score over to Hong Kong here. However, chain misses for everyone with combo. Never mind, RLSC with Bancho. I love this map! with Bancho misses. Anybody else love it? RLSC finding an actual miss now. Dito uh, fake missing twice in a row right there, uh, but keeping the score close between the two teams at the moment. Krez matching the combo coming out of RL uh, MC by four. RLSC and that new guy trading misses as all the other combos are basically completely evenly matched. Slider break coming out of Krez means MC by four does have a combo lead out for Hong Kong, but it's very, very slight at the end here. Nobody between Dito and Dragbit 3 dropping an inch at the moment, but the accuracy for Dragbit 3 might make the difference at the end of the map here, as we see about a 40,000 score lead for Hong Kong near the end. MCY4's combo and Dragbit 3's act compared to Dito, making all the difference in the world for that pick, as Hong Kong able to take Nomad 4 home. Accuracy on MCY4, by the way, 98.86. Only 900s dropped. One slider break and two misses on that map. And despite lower max combo than Dragbit 3, almost the exact same score just due to accuracy alone. Very, very solid stuff from Hong Kong overall. Well, uh, looking for the next pick now <laughs> from Indonesia. After that one, uh, I do really want to see uh, how they do on something like the Free Mod 3. You do have to be careful about Dragbit 3 popping off on either Free Mod 3 or Nomad 6. I think both of those maps are places where he can do very well. But frankly speaking, these teams share so much of their strengths um, that it becomes very hard to tell exactly who should pick what. I think. Uh, the only solid advantage that either team has over the other uh, is Hong Kong on paper does have a better aim roster despite the fact that they lost no mod one it is of course kind of one of those RNG picks uh, you always hear people talk about how RNG no mod one is and we did see that in the uh, in this round in this matchup um, I do think that they still have pretty solid chances at stuff like hard rock one and maybe DT one as well but for now, we're going to see Indonesia go with more of the reading picks. System by SHK picked up for the first time this weekend. This map is messed up, man. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. AR8, CS5, um, complete full overlap reading hell. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen this map before... Um, you're in for a treat. If you have seen the map before, <laughs> uh, you are, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that this is one of the most difficult uh, tournament safe, quote unquote, breeding picks that there is. Um, just so many patterns that double back on themselves, overlap perfectly, and changing rhythms in this map that make it so difficult to sight read especially, but even to play after multiple playthroughs uh, for a lot of players.
Looks like this is the final roster for both teams. Dragbit 3, MCY4, and RLSC in for Hong Kong. Dito Kresmafuma in for Indonesia. No surprises on the Indonesia roster. Um, could have expected to see somebody like Kibiki in for Hong Kong on this pick, but I'm going to go with RLSC for this one. misses from Fuma coming out for Indonesia. So we have four finding a drop for Hong Kong as well now. Combo advantage back over to Indonesia. RLSC dropping as well for Hong Kong. Dito matching the miss, however. Kraz and Dragbit 3 on the low pro-trait map. Both still holding on to the only full combos in the lobby. Kind of expected out of these two, honestly, on a map like this. RLSC and MCY4 having more trouble than Dito and Fuma is kind of what you expect to see for... Indonesia on this map. Dragbit 3 actually misreading there. And Krez now the only FC in the lobby, completely unopposed by anyone from Hong Kong. And at this point, the difference is comfort is becoming very apparent for both teams. RLSC and MCY4 just having a far worse time of this map than anybody on the side of Indonesia. Even Puma there dropping a bunch of misses on the misread. Uh, still holding on to 280k, almost 300k now. Uh, about to press that mark. Krez still full comboing. By the way, um, not sure what's going on there. He's just he's just going off. He's just going off. There's there's not much else to say. Everybody else is missing in this section. Everyone else has missed. Okay, he finally slider breaks on one note, not because he misreads, but because he miss aims. Finally finds a second miss aim as well. Um. Yeah, what was that? What? That was... <laughs> that was an absolutely ridiculous play from Krez, um, who manages to not misread anything during the entire map and just mis-aim some things near the end of the pick. Uh, yeah, wow, that's a very, very good pick for Indonesia, to say the least. Krez almost 1v3-ing. Um, yeah, don't know what else to say. That was uh, almost 1v3 from Krez, and then Fuma and Dito both outscored everybody besides Dragbit3 left in the lobby. So, uh, yeah, incredible pick for Indonesia on that one, and I expect them to pick Free Mod 3 after this. Honestly, after how that map went, I expect them to pick Free Mod 3. Uh, at some point in this match. Maybe they save it for last pick. Who knows? But they're, they're going to pick it. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Uh, okay. Well, they will not get the chance to pick it. Indonesia will not be picking. Indonesia will not be picking Free Mod 3. This is a very different map, to be sure. Um... This is a very different map. It is uh, it's an ori originally a Corsace 2021 custom in the Corsace Open Finals. It was also free mod there, um, which should give you an idea of relative difficulty. The reason why this map is in 3WC Finals, which is, of course, a slightly rank-restricted tournament, uh, is because in this tournament, you only need two mods. You don't need two unique mods. One thing that I will think we probably see on this map is Dragbit 3 Easy. Is easy allowed? I'm pretty sure easy allowed. Um, although we haven't really seen any of it in the tournament so far. Um, we may just see hidden or no mod from Dragbit 3 instead. Uh, but it would it would make sense to see Dragbit 3 easy on this map. Uh, this is really truly an anti-mod map. Um, difficult, awkward aim jumps, hard streams to flow aim with hidden as well. 
And so easy kind of makes all of that simpler, mechanically speaking. Dragbit 3 definitely having the reading to deal with it. You're looking at the same lineup from the side of Indonesia. Dito, Krez, and Fuma staying in for this one. Nazar coming in to join Dragbit 3 and MCY4 on this map. Probably taking the hard rock, I would assume, for Nazar on this map. We are going to see double hard rock, actually, from MCY4 and Nizar on this map. No mod for Dragbit 3, so just more comfortable going no mod and uh, not dealing with the easy multiplier or low, low approach rate here. Double hidden for Indonesia on this map. Krez and Fuma both taking hidden. Uh, the dichotomy of man on display in this matchup as we see double hard rock versus double hidden in this lobby. They missed for Krez, matching one of the early misses out of Nizar. Uh, combo lead, however, squarely in the favor of Hong Kong right now. Accuracy lead as well. You expect the Hard Rock players to have lower accuracy, but not the case right now as both hidden players, Krez and Puma, really struggling on the accuracy at the moment. Struggling to keep the combo together too for Puma in particular during the stream section here. Nizar finding multiple misses will help the case for Indonesia, but that's not the player they need to miss. MCY4 and Dragbit 3 still holding on to two full combos right now for Hong Kong as Dito matches one of those full combos on the Nomad. This Hard Rock FC for MCY4 is adding far too much score to Hong Kong's side for any of this to be comebackable right now for Indonesia. Dito's full combo is gone and at this point the double full combo from Dragbit 3 and MCY4 is just going to take over. MCY4 finally dropping on one of the streams there, but again, it does not matter. Dragbit 3 holding on to the full combo here. And it's just a question of whether Dragbit will full combo the map or not at this point. And yeah, very different map indeed. 400,000 score in the favor of Hong Kong, despite how good Indonesia has looked on both Hidden 3 and Nomad 6. Free Mod 3. Hong Kong just takes double hard rock and says, no, this is not, this is not a low approach rate reading map. You're playing this wrong. This is actually a precision map, and we're going to play it correctly. We're going to play it precision. We're going to play it hard rock CS 6.5 and do what we do best, what we have already beaten you on with our first pick in hard rock three. Kind of surprising pick at first, but uh, yeah, double hard rock for Hong Kong, really pulling through for them there, uh, capitalizing on the comfort that they have on hard rock in comparison to Indonesia overall. Indonesia now still up four to three, uh, but does need to win their next pick in order to keep the lead that they have from their early break point on Nomad 1. Double time two, of course, conspicuously left open after a Nomad 5 DT3 ban by Hong Kong. Nomad 2 also conspicuously left open if they are looking to go into tapping maps instead of uh, instead of reading maps at this point, of which there are basically none left. Um, there are alt maps left in the pool in Lost Umbrella and in uh, Vitrum Remod. There is Chariot left for tech alongside calling, uh, which frankly I think Indonesia or sorry Hong Kong is more likely to pick. Uh, Hard Rock One DT One I think Hard uh, Hong Kong is also more likely to pick there. It is going to be Nomad Three. It's going to be Alt. 
for Indonesia. They're gonna go with Lost Umbrella. That's by Ogi. That's right. It's like vaguely polygonal alt. Um, is the way to describe this. Like, very much so uh, a map that is determined by aim control still, determined by flow aim still, um, but that has a lot of the very weird sort of um, like almost polygonal patterning within the aim control. I, I don't know how to describe this map. It's kind of weird. Um, it's almost like Neteki Cybernetics, if anybody else knows that map from, uh, from the top. But yeah, this is a, a different version of Lost Umbrella from the usual one. Not a lot of long note chains in this map. Uh, so being 137 BPM, this is single tappable if you are speedy enough for it. Let's see if anybody does actually go that route for it or not, but uh, certainly... Certainly still very doable. All right, good luck, have fun. Are in Dragbit 3, MCY4, and Hibiki in for Hong Kong, Dito Krez, and that noob guy in for Indonesia on this one. Nobody dropping anything on the intro section. Everybody's still holding on pretty well during this part of the map. PI time now. This is where the aim control starts getting a little bit difficult. Hibiki does find a miss during the first PI time as well. Two by four dropping as well now for Hong Kong, and this is looking better and better for Indonesia. As everyone on their side still holding on to the full combos halfway through now. Present Dito with very high accuracy as well, 99.6%. That new guy does miss on the last note of that longer chain. Does match the miss from a key, key, key but uh, definitely favors Hong Kong. Unfortunately for Hong Kong, uh, 300,000 score in the lead for Indonesia right now, and still on a double full combo for Dito and Prez means that uh, they would ha basically have to see a double break from the two FCs right about now if they want any chance of taking this break point for the side of Hong Kong. Otherwise, Indonesia just looking to close this out pretty cleanly with Prez and Dito leading the charge for them.
and still none of these three players breaking on the ending. Are, are, are we gonna see a three-way full combo on this? Three different players up seeing this. Oh my lord! Wow. Okay. All right. Well. Uh. Uh. Dragbit three with the full combo on this map. Crazy score from Dragbit three. Cra crazy score there. Great full combo, guys. Great full combo. Uh. Yeah. Fe still very good stuff from Indonesia, though. I mean. Uh. You know, still higher score for Dito and Krez than for Dragbit three, despite the full combo. Uh. So a very very solid stuff from Indonesia overall. I think this pick was kind of expected from Hong Kong at some point during the match. It is Hard Rock 1. Resso Alive. Uh, yeah, it's Hard Rock 1. Um, there's, there's not a lot to say about this one either. It's AIM. But with Hard Rock! Oh. Crazy, crazy how that works. Uh, yeah, the one slot in each pool is kind of aim focused. Uh, this map is like slightly first year than the mod one. About all there is to. About all there is to say about this map. I don't know. Dragbit 3, MCY4, and F2X in for this map. Uh, F2X, uh, this is the first time that we've seen F2X in this match. Uh, included basically for aim map on this team, I believe. Um, very, very solid hard rock game consistently player in particular. Does that mean he will outscore Dragbit 3 or F2X4? I am not sure, but he is in for this map. That is for sure. Dito, Fuma, and Trez in for Indonesia once again. It looks like that is going to bring us into Hard Rock 1. Good luck, have funds are out. And it should be lineups for both teams going into the inconsistency Hard Rock pick. Something that uh, definitely makes a lot of sense for Hong Kong on paper. A very, very good aim roster. Do not talk about the background of this map. Krez with an early miss uh, right before the transition into the first GI time here. Okay, it's a little bit longer before the first GI time. S2X matching the miss from Krez, so not going to matter too much from either side. I was finding another flat of break in the first PI. It does give a bit of a lead over to Hong Kong at this point. F2X, however, dropping once again. Zito now matching the miss. Dragnet 3 dropping as well. Puma also missing during the first PI time. And it is now only MCY4 with combo on either team here. This Hard Rock 1 proving uh, deceptively hard for both teams right now. We have seen pretty low scores on this map on average uh, through the rest of the weekend as well. I think the highest score we've seen so far uh, is about 70, 700k, 750k from Korea Maluko on Brazil. And I don't know if we're going to see something similar from anyone in this lobby right now. The 
Ill combo lead for Hong Kong as Zito does match with this coming out of MCY4. Four lead also on their side just barely at the moment. X2X dropping during this Ki time though, and no one from Indonesia matching the miss. That is going to give Indonesia some hope in this map. But Hong Kong, the one down points already. Indonesia looking to take another break point. It's definitely not what Hong Kong wants to see right now. M2Y4 and Dragbit3 are going to have to do their best to hold on to the combos as long as possible here. Dragbit3 matching the combo out of Krez at the moment. Two by four matching Zito's combo at least, but Dragbit three missing there, and nobody on Indonesia missing during this section so far. Guma does drop as well, so it is a matched break from Indonesia. And two by four and F two X gonna be able to hold on long enough for Krez to break now instead. It is just M two by four versus Zito as F two X matches the break from Krez. Everyone missing all over the place during this section. Guido finally drops as well for Indonesia, and there's only MCY4 left standing at the end of it. 99.5 accuracy as well on this map for MCY4. Far and away the best performer on Hard Rock so far in this match, and gonna continue that streak here on this map in Rousseau Alive. Does find a drop at the very end of the map. There is still a little bit of map left, but I don't think there's enough time for the score lead to swap back over despite Krez's combo right now. Uh, this should stay on the side of Hong Kong, and it should keep them in the match a bit longer as well. Four to five now, the scoreline. Very, very solid play from M2X4. Uh, definitely one of the better plays that we'll see this weekend on the map. and does make it so that Hong Kong is able to come out on top for that map. Indonesia now with the next pick and then final pick for either team at that point. Indonesia with two picks left. There's only Nomad 2, Hidden 2, PT 1 and 2, and Fremod 1 and 2 left up. But we could see them go for something like Fremod 1 after the uh, Nomad 3 alt pick, but the double time 2 makes a lot of sense given the bans from Hong Kong. Despite the fact that it was conspicuously left open by Hong Kong, Indonesia is going to go for it. Uh, this is the speed map in double time. This is just speed streams and that's it. One thing to note about this map is that the beginning is the only part with long streams. The first half, really, is the part with the long streams. The second half is largely free combo. So if you get a very good score together, if you get your good combo through the first half, and you carry a high combo into the second half, you are going to boost your score by quite a bit. It looks like these are going to be the rosters for both sides. Nazar, Dragbit3, and RLSC in for Hong Kong. Fuma, Delon, and Rexes in for Indonesia.
Looks like everybody is ready to go. Let's see whether this was a bait by Hong Kong or not. Of course, on Nomad 5 and Double Time 3 both banned out. This map notably different from both of them in that the streams in this map very clearly double tappable. Early breaks for both Puma and Arla C. Dragma 3 also missing on this map. Dragbit 3 double tapping, and Fuma doing a little bit of double tapping as well. A little bit of, little bit of spamming on this map. Overall accuracy advantage with Indonesia, if I'm not mistaken. Everybody holding surprisingly good combo at the moment. RLSC and Nazar both breaking, however, as I say that. And uh, I think this map is basically over now, actually. Uh, this is a massive, massive score lead already for Indonesia. And we are not likely to see any of these combos really break at all in the second half of the map now. Even if they did break, Dragbit 3 just does not have enough potential score left with his accuracy to uh, make a comeback happen. You see a break from Buma and Delon right at the end of the map. No double full combo for Indonesia, but it is going to be the FC from Rexies at the very least. Also, I, I think FC from, from Dragnet 3 with a 790k on the full combo there. But, oh no, not an FC, not an FC. He did slide a break right before the end. But yeah, full combo for Rexies, 900k for Jalan, 750k for Fuma is a very, very good team score for Indonesia and shows exactly why the Nomad 5 and DT3 bands were there for Hong Kong. Uh, definitely not a bait Indonesia, just that much better at speed. Last pick now for both teams. Hong Kong, four to six down against Indonesia on the break point they suffered on Nomad 1 earlier on in the match. Needing to win both their own pick and Indonesia's next pick in order to just force tiebreaker for the chance at winner's bracket and grand finals. Double time one, gonna be the final pick from Hong Kong here. Not a map that we have seen picked up all that often from any team. This DT1, uh, very, very awkward in how it plays. Not only AR 10.3 and 252 BPM, but a lot of wide angle or flow aim jumps on AR 10.3, which are very, very tricky to get right. Uh, however, the players for Hong Kong who are going in for this, it looks like we have Dragbit 3, MCY4, and Nizar in for this map for Hong Kong. Uh, these three players very, very solid at this type of aim in particular, and I think it's a map that makes sense for them. Virtually, I think a lot of the maps that are left up in this pool are breakpointable for Hong Kong. Uh, this map really going to be, I think, their best pick in this pool. But things like Chariot are still up. Things like Calling and Hidden 2 are still up. Kind of expect Indonesia to go with Nomad 2 as a next pick. Uh, and we'll see if Hong Kong is able to pull out a breakpoint on Indonesia's next pick. But... First, we have to get through double time one. Hong Kong has to win this pick just to get the chance at taking a break point now. Good luck, have funds are out. Dito, Rexies, and Puma going to try and close it out. 7-4 for Indonesia and advance into the grand finals in top two with the winner's bracket advantage. Hong Kong 
trying to keep themselves alive. Nazar, Dragbit 3, and MCY4. Hopefully up to the task for Hong Kong. No breaks from anybody at the start of the map so far. Accuracy lead well in the favor of Hong Kong right now. Made a breaks from Dito and M2I4. And Nazar also finding a slider break now for the side of Hong Kong. Fuma and Rexy's both dropping their combos during the first Ki time, however. It is only Dragbit 3 left standing at the end of the first Ki time. A lot of breaks in rapid fashion there during that first Ki time. At the end of it, MCY4 with a slight combo lead for himself. Nazar matching the combo out of anybody on the side of Indonesia. And Dragnet 3 on the only full combo in the lobby. Are finding another break during the first, the second Ki time here, matching Rexy's and Fuma, but that is an unmatched break now from Indonesia as MCY4 continues to hold through the second Ki time for Hong Kong, and you can see what that does to the score line now: 500,000 score up for Hong Kong right now. Only Dito left alive with any combo on the side of Indonesia, and even then, not enough to match up against MCY4. And 2i4 does drop the combo, but unfortunately for Indonesia, it is too little too late as everybody resets their combos, including Dragbit3 at the end of the map here. Not going to be able to finish out the full combo, but that is more than enough done for this map. 960,000 score going into the ending for Dragbit3 and 700,000 score up for Hong Kong on that pick. An incredibly dominant map for them as they manage now to take Indonesia to their own last pick. One miss for both Fuma and MCY4. Uh, two misses for Dito and Dragbit3. Three miss for Nazar uh, on that map as well. So very low miss counts across the board for basically everybody. Uh, just timing of the misses for quite a lot of people uh, determining the overall score there, especially the slider breaks from a lot of the members of Indonesia doing a lot to wreck the score. We are not quite at tiebreaker yet. Indonesia has still one more chance to close this out cleanly without bringing us to a tiebreaker. And they are going to try to make the most of it, I assume. Uh, they are not rooting for a tiebreaker, unlike the rest of us right now. They are rooting for a 7-5 win after this next pick. Uh, likely going to take their time debating it, making sure that they have all the members right and ready for it. A couple of maps left up here. Nomad 2, Hidden 2, Fremod 1, and Fremod 2. The remaining picks open for Indonesia at the moment. Given how Double Time 2 went, you could expect a Nomad 2 pick, but those BPMs are very, very different from each other. And so that's uh, not a surefire pick whatsoever for Indonesia, although none of these maps really are. Uh, the Hidden 2 pick is something that Hong Kong in particular excels at, and so we probably won't be seeing them pick that up for the side of Indonesia, despite picking both Hidden 1 and Hidden 3 earlier on into the map, uh, into the match, excuse me. It is going to be three mod one as a last pick for Indonesia. This map, Chariot by Usao. 
128 BPM, but a lot of it mapped in 1.4. So you can almost call it 256 BPM, CS 3.5 and AR9. Very, very dense map with hidden. Which is why I actually thought we might have seen this get picked up by Hong Kong earlier. Our drop on this map, not nearly as punishing as it is on a lot of other free mod picks, especially with that relatively dense approach rate AR9 with Hidden. It's going to be very tough for some of the members of Indonesia who we know prefer the Hidden, especially given what we saw on free mod 3. Gonna be expecting double hard rock for Hong Kong here, probably on MCY4 and Nazar. Gonna be expecting... I don't know, actually. I don't know what we expect from Indonesia. Dino and Rexies are in for this map instead of Prez. Um, so maybe we see the hard rock on this pick come out of Indonesia. Um, Fuma is still in for this, so maybe we see Fuma go hidden. I think Hard Rock would be smart from Indonesia on this map. I think Hard Rock is just easier than Hidden on this pick. Uh, but we'll see what they end up going with as soon as we get into the map just now. Yeah, double Hard Rock, of course, for Hong Kong. And I'm assuming that's a Hard Rock on Rexies as well, uh, despite the client not loading. No, that is Hidden for Rexies. Okay. No mod, of course, for Dito and Dragbit 3, the two uh, members excluded from going Hard Rock. And uh, everyone missing. Uh, three misses for Dragbit 3, MCY4, and Dito. Rexy's Nazar and Fuma still holding on. That means two full combos at the moment for Indonesia. Uh, early combo drops like that, not as impactful as they otherwise would be in different places throughout the map. Rexy's finding a slider break now on the hidden as well. It is Fuma and Nazar on the hard rock full combos for either team right now. Identical accuracy for both of them. Accuracy across the board on this pick, very, very low. You're not going to expect Ayak on basically anyone in this map. Puma missing on basically nothing there, and now no full combos left up for Indonesia. The recovery from Dragbit 3 and MCY4 is there as well for Hong Kong right now. This is a massive combo lead for HK going into the second half of the map. Nobody missing on the 1-6 there. Back into another slider aim section now. Fuma the first to drop during that part of the map. MZY4 trading the miss that does actually favor Indonesia a bit as Fuma was on the lowest combo for Indonesia during that part of the map. Rexies and Dito close to matching the combos from Nizar and Dragbit3, but still 250k in the lead for Hong Kong at the moment as Dito now finds the slider break. That is the highest combo gone for Indonesia. And at this point, if Nazar and Dragbit 3 don't both break at the same time, this is going over to Hong Kong. And we're going to be finding ourselves at a tiebreaker. Nazar does drop the Hard Rock full combo. There is still a little bit of time left, but that is now 400,000 score for Hong Kong and a sliver of map left. We are going to tiebreaker. It all comes down to this. It all comes down to the tiebreaker. 
Lullaby by Hisatomi. Just about everybody knows this song from the love set by C-Mob, but I think a lot fewer people will know this song, or will know this particular set of the song. This is a ranked version of the song, still very streamy at 200 BPM, but a much more balanced version of the map and a much more polished version of the map. You're looking at people like Maliszewski to full combo this map. You're looking at people like Emrek to full combo this map. This is the type of map that you have as tiebreaker in the finals of near open rank tournaments like 3WC that are just near impossible to pull off any high combos on or any full combos on during match, but that for players like Dragbit 3, for your star players on either squad, you look to them to hard carry. You look to singular players to put up enough score on this to swing the tides. That's what Hong Kong is going to be looking for, at least. Dragbit 3, somebody who has recently found himself into the limelight after a top three finish in Mixed Winter Cup and has been a major part of the reason why this Hong Kong squad is guaranteed top three. Indonesia as well looking for what they have found throughout this whole match which is that team consistency on a wide number of players and for enough players to be able to put up solid scores on this map so that the carry performances out of the best members on Hong Kong aren't enough to take the score to home. It looks like Indonesia is all prepared for this one. It is Dito, Krez, and Fuma. Once again, the three core players for Indonesia in for this map. No surprises there. They have consistently found scores within 100k of each other on so many maps throughout this match. And they are likely going to be trying to find some similar types of scores on this map as well. waiting on F2X's internet to come back and on some mental prep from the side of Hong Kong going into yet another tiebreaker matchup for them. Both of these teams with tiebreakers in the quarterfinals up against similarly difficult opponents. Japan taking Hong Kong the tiebreaker and Germany taking Indonesia the tiebreaker. They have already found some tiebreakers in this tournament. But I don't think any that would be this stressful in the winner's finals for guaranteed top two. You don't get much more stressful than that unless it is grand finals already. Reminder that the loser of this goes down to the loser's bracket to face off against the winner of France versus China. That matchup happening in about 35 minutes, about 30 minutes or so in the loser's bracket. France the number one seed, China the number eight seed. But both of those teams originally predicted to be some of the top three within the tournament. So very scary opponents for either Hong Kong or Indonesia to face off against in the Losers Bracket Grand Finals. Hong Kong, of course, already having faced off against France, but uh, with the scaling that France's members have, I think definitely becomes much more difficult of a matchup the later the tournament goes.
I am a little interested to see F2X in on this map over somebody like RLSC. Um, I think it is interesting to see F2X in on this map, actually. F2X is not somebody that I know as a stream player, somebody that I know as a game player, primarily. Uh, obviously competent on this map if he is being put in for Hong Kong in the tiebreaker in winners' finals. But certainly not an expected player, I don't think, at the start of the match, if you had to pin a couple players to go in on the tiebreaker. We will see the trademark hidden from Krez on this map. He just prefers hidden. He just likes hidden. Early breaks on the aim for Dragbit 3 and MTY4 alongside Vito from Indonesia is combo advantage ever so slightly in the favor of Indonesia. Not going to matter too much, I don't think. Actually, we did see a roster swap for Indonesia. It is Fuma out for that noob guy instead. Again, that noob guy with pretty solid performances here in the later stages of the tournament uh, and is likely to put up a pretty solid score for Indonesia on this one as well. Still holding the only full combo in the lobby right now. We did see a miss from Krez on the hidden, matched by F2X on no mod. M2I4 dropping during this QI time. And that noob guy and Krez both slider breaking there. Does leave Dino as the only high combo on the side of Indonesia, matching the combo coming out of drag, but 3 F2X matching the earlier misses from Krez and that noob guy now, so it is just matched combos on both sides. More stream section as everybody is able to hold on to their combos during this section. Dragon 3 actually missing in the transition out of the streams, leaving Dito as the only high combo in the lobby right now. Dito not missing on the transition out. And now just in the aim section, holding over a thousand combo for Dito right now. F2X trading misses with Prez there. There's matched combo for that new guy in MCY4, but unmatched high combo. Over 1,200 now for Zeno. And Dito has to be nervous seeing the scoreboards right now. The only high combo in the lobby. That new guy just matching Dragbit 3. Nobody left to match, uh, or rather, that noob guy matching M2I4, nobody left to match Dragbit 3's combo right now. I need a little break during this section. The score lead, despite the high combo from Dito, only at about 30,000 score right now. Look at the accuracy from Hong Kong, 98 on multiple members, 97 on F2X as well. Dito drops that high combo and now You've got only the 94% 1k combo from that noob guy to match up against the 98% same combo for MCY4 and 900 combo for Dragbit3. These are the two superstar members for Hong Kong that have carried this team to victory over and over again throughout this tournament and are looking to do so again in this tiebreaker the longer they can hold on. MCY4 having tech issues, however, and just dropping a ton of misses there. Luckily able to pull the cursor back together and get back on some of these notes later on, but that is a major blow. Dragbit 3 still holding on to very high combo for Hong Kong, but unfortunately, F2X not able to match the combo coming out of Krez. And that is really the combo that you have to worry about if you are Hong Kong right now, is Krez and that noob guy. The accuracy on that noob guy, not very good, and so lower overall score than Dragbit 3. There goes the slider break for Krez now. F2X and Dragbit 3 may be able to pull this back over and make up for the tech issues that MCY4 had, otherwise would still be comboing right now. 
There goes that noob guy on the highest combo in the lobby. Evaporated by the slider breaks by those kick sliders. Dragma 3 drops on the streams right afterwards. Nobody has any combo at all in this lobby right now. It is less than 30,000 score as we see more of us has come through for Krez and that noob guy. Everybody dropping on these streams over and over again. But the chain miss is coming out for Indonesia on that noob guy and Krez in particular. Giving the score back over to Hong Kong. Fewer misses and lower act dropped for Hong Kong means they keep more of their score. The score actually going down there for Indonesia. F2X does find the slider break, so it is MCY4 and Dragbit3 to match the combo coming out of Krez and Dito right now. But again, the accuracy so good for Hong Kong in comparison, 97 on all three members. Highest act for Indonesia is 96.8 on Dito right now, and Krez not able to hold on to the combo here. It's all going to come down to the very ending sliver of map. It is less than 30,000 score for Hong Kong right now, and anything can happen at the ending here. But that is going to be it. Hong Kong, despite the tech issues from MCY4, despite the early breakpoints on Nomad 1, will be able to take the tiebreaker by 25,000 points and guarantee themselves top two in the three-digit World Cup. Incredibly close map and incredibly close match between these two teams. Definitely the type of match that you would have wanted to see from your winner's finals and a matchup of the weekend if I've ever seen one. Really solid stuff from Hong Kong all throughout this match. Of course, Dragbit3 and MCY4, uh, the standout members for this team, top scoring basically every single map they played in this whole match. Uh, from the very first... Actually, did they top score every single map they played for Hong Kong? Both of them? Both of them? Okay, the only map, the only map where both Dragbit3 and MCY4 did not top score when they played it was on Free Mod 1, where Nizar was able to outscore MCY4. Otherwise, any time all throughout this match that Dragbit3 and MCY4 played a map, they were the top scores on it. They were the top two whenever they played a map together. And when they played a map alone, they were also the top score. That is sheer carry performance and dominance from these two players who were in on almost every single map 13 maps for dragbit 3 and 12 maps for mcy4 throughout this match which is absolutely incredible uh, they are still able to put up those types of super high consistent performances all throughout the match incredible stuff from hong kong the 12th seed out of qualifiers now guaranteed top two in the tournament and with winner's bracket advantage in grand finals knocking indonesia down to face the winner of france versus china in the losers bracket next weekend really ridiculous stuff from indonesia as well they had tons of members come in and do fantastic stuff for them matching the full combos coming out of the two ridiculous performers from hong kong all throughout that match but just not quite able to compare on the tiebreaker at the very end of the match. Ever so slight advantage for Dragbit3 really made the difference on that one. That's going to be it for this match. We have one more coming up this weekend at 16 UTC. That is in a half an hour. It's going to be France versus China. Winner of that faces off against Indonesia in the Losers Bracket Finals next weekend. After that matchup in France versus China, we are going to get our map pool showcase for a grand finals. So go ahead, take a half hour break. Come on back at 16 UTC to see who these teams will face off against next weekend and who Indonesia will battle for the chance at redemption against Hong Kong in the grand finals. Thank you all for watching. Congratulations to Hong Kong. Good luck to Indonesia next weekend. We'll see you back here in half an hour.